Grant, I think I got 12 o'clock on the dot, man. You guys ready to yeah. rock and roll? Yeah. Well, thank you guys for joining us early for this special, rare, special um, OA Cheddar webinar. And um, we're excited to have you here. We are, we take your time very valuably. We all know we have limited time. So we wanted to give you guys, uh, we've got a great presentation for you and I'm excited to be here. My name is Gabe Strom. If we haven't met before, I'm joined by my co-founder Grant Dunn uh, in East Wenatchee, Washington, and uh, um, also Taylor Dunn, who is the has become the GM of Cheddar, all things Cheddar. A lot of you guys have chatted with Taylor and Cindy in different ways and shapes and forms. So we've got the whole family here today, and uh, we appreciate you taking time to be with us. Grant, I see 12 o'clock on the dot, man, so I think we should just get started. Yeah, let's um, do it. Let's get started. Let me let me real quick. If you guys don't know Grant Dunn, uh, I'll let you tell your full story, Grant. Where these are unfancy intros. You're a retired former plumber turned full time Amazon seller. You made the shift um, back in the day several years ago. You've been in the game probably just about as long as anybody that I know. Um, I forget if it's eight years or nine years or how many years you've been selling <laughs> selling on Amazon. But you started the blue collar way. You you know worked up through retail arbitrage, did the hustle to online arbitrage. And um, let's make sure here before we start. Um, okay, cool. Um, sorry, <laughs> we got chat going here in the same time, man. So uh, yeah, I'll let you start, man. That's a fancy, unfancy introduction. You're an awesome guy. Um, you've got a couple of kids, you work really hard and um, we built some cool things with Cheddar. So I'm excited to do this, do this webinar and catch up, man. For sure. I'm excited too, man. Let's do it. Q Taylor click slide. Okay, cool. <laughs> All sure, right, Grant. Go. Well, I'll let you tell. Well, here's what we're gonna do today, guys. We're gonna um, we want to go through some of the challenges that we see with OA, and that's kind of the purpose of, of the webinar today. You guys are on uh, one or several different lead lists or other people's lead lists, and there's kind of some elephants in the room, some changes that have happened in the industry, and so that's the purpose of this live presentation is to kind of catch up with that, and then also to present to you uh, our solution. Uh, Cheddarsoft, which is a solution on many different levels. Uh, some of you guys are already Cheddarsoft subscribers. Some of you guys are um, future Cheddarsoft subscribers. And we built a really sweet tool uh, that we've been polishing, <laughs> like um, uh, we've just been working on uh, for the last couple of years. And we're excited to, to share that with you guys today too. So, but Grant, we didn't just wake up and, and say, hey, let's go build a software that helps OA sellers get their time back. This was a process and you, know, you definitely put in the work. So I'll let you... Uh, kind of share your story, man, how we, how we started this whole thing. Sure. Let's, let's hit it, Taylor. All right, guys, like Taylor said, uh, first of all, thank you for being on the call. We really appreciate, like, like Gabe said, we really do value your time. Uh, we know you're busy. You got lives, you got businesses, you got, some of you got full-time jobs you're doing on the side. Uh, well, maybe you're doing your Amazon's business on the side, but I've been there. I've done that. So I get it. And we really do appreciate you being here. And we're excited to uh, share with you what we've got. So like Gabe had already said, I, I started out as a, well, in the construction industry and I did plumbing for about eight years. And while I was, <laughs> I took this picture while I was under a house because I was, I was already doing Amazon at this time. And I thought I'm under this house doing the one thing I absolutely hate doing the, the most in this job is crawling under homes with mice poop and all this other stuff. And I'm going to take a picture so I never forget where I came from. And so I'm sharing that with you guys today. Um, and so I did plumbing for about eight years. And by 2014, I did online businesses for several years and did that on the side of, of, of being a plumber. And, uh, you know, I used to, I used to tell people, yeah, I work, you know, 80 hours a week. I was working 40 hours as a plumber and 40 hours in my, in my side hustle. And my wife would correct me and say, no, you worked hundred hours a week, you know? And so, um, we've been there, we've done that. And it wasn't until 2014, several years into my online business career, I, I, discovered Amazon FBA. And that picture right there is my very first shipment into Amazon. It's a target haul, uh, went into the stores with a scanning app and, uh, and did my thing, pulled out a haul. And I was convinced, and I've said this before on other calls, I was convinced that that stuff wasn't going to make it to Amazon. It was sure to get lost and never make it there. This, this business is probably not going to work. Um, and as you can see, uh, it worked. And as we continued into our career, well into 2019, got pretty darn good at sourcing uh, retail arbitrage. And, um, and we did that up to, you know, several, you know, we did six, fig seven figures a year for several years leading up into 2019. Uh, so around 2017, I started coaching uh, some Amazon sellers, I actually partnered up with my buddy here, Gabe, 
And uh, we started coaching some Amazon sellers. And I quickly realized that what I was doing, what my, the process of retail arbitrage and, and doing it at the scale that I was doing it at was not easily duplicatable for most people for a variety of reasons, a lack of time, uh, a lack of you know being willing to stand on their feet all day long, eight hours a day um, and stuff like that. And so uh, at, in a, at a, out of a, you know, just a sense of obligation. I wanted to help these sellers and, and Gabe and I were both committed to doing our absolute best by them. Um, in that coaching program, I thought, well, you know what, let me provide some online arbitrage leads. So I hired a couple of virtual assistants um, back in 2017, first time I'd ever hired any virtual assistants. And uh, I was kind of afraid of it, you know, like never done this before. Is this going to work? And it did. And, um, and so we actually started providing online arbitrage leads to that, that group of, of coaching clients. And in 2018, we launched our first online arbitrage lead list um, with just a simple mission of helping more sellers efficiently source more inventory from the comfort of their home. And since then, that the OA Cheddar, right, the, the business that Gabe and, and, and I own and that Taylor helps us run along with Cindy and a bunch of other great people and about 35, 40 uh, Filipinos as well, has grown to over 11 sold out lead lists. We're always sold out all the time. And over the last three years, we've sold out our Q4 package within minutes of opening the shopping cart. So we're just really proud of what we've done and, and, and the role that we play in helping Amazon sellers build successful businesses and source more inventory for the stores. Um, so around 2000, at the, by the end of 2019, we were still doing retail arbitrage and Taylor was out on the road uh, you know, four days a week, I would often, some, well, I wouldn't often, but, you know, on occasion would go out and still source with Taylor. My, my cousin, Charles, who's our shipping manager would also go sourcing. And it was a, it was a huge endeavor. It took a ton of work. It took at least 40 hours a week, uh, to source for a million dollar store. And by the end of 2019, we started digging in through our OH header data and, and, and the old data, the historical data, the stuff that we'd already delivered to customers, months prior, we started pulling out all of these really cool items and sourcing them for peak season. And, uh, and by the end of 2019, I was looking at, you know, the, the, the store numbers and what was selling and stuff and come to find out some of the best stuff that we had sourced for our store that year, or for that peak season was from OA Cheddar historical lead data. And I thought, well, shoot, you know, RA is expensive. And as you can see here, I've got, a, got this little graph or this little illustration, you know, we were paying for a vehicle, we're paying for fuel, we're paying per diem so that the Anybody on the road had food and drink that they could, you know, a little extra cash for that, hotels. And that's the immense amount of time, you know, travel time and all of the time, you know, in stores, it just added up to a lot of, of, of expense and a lot of expense on our time. And I thought, well, what the heck, let's see if we can, you know, it was, it was scary because Taylor had actually brought this up to me many times before. We should, we should move to OA. We've got these leads. Let's see what we can do. And, and, and I guess 2019 was a little bit of that trial run. And, uh, and then by, by January of 2020, I said, Taylor, don't go into any more stores. We're done. Let's source exclusively from OA Cheddar and see what happens. And the really cool thing there, guys, is what ended up happening is the amount of time that we invested into sourcing the same amount of inventory and selling the same amount of stuff on Amazon and, 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 and similar profits was cut significantly down. Taylor, I think you could jump. <clears throat> and so... What we found through that process, through that transition, was that our profits were still good, right? A little bit less margin with OA, but it's easier to do more volume with less time. Our expenses went way down. The amount of effort that we put into sourcing our inventory, you know, with that transition went way down. But most significantly, our time savings was astronomical. What used to take, you know, 40 hours a week sourcing, uh, sourcing inventory and another 40 hours a week prepping, packing, and shipping it to FBA all of that was cut in half. What, what, what used to take two full-time employees with retail arbitrage, we were able to replicate, the, do the same volume and, and earn the same amount of profit, really more profit uh, with a full, one full-time employee. So very significant difference when we made that transition. And, and that's kind of what the theme of this call is about, guys, is we want to help you through, through this solution that we've created, but get some of you, more of your time back, right? And so that was the big Eye opener. That was the big, the first time in my business where it's like, oh my gosh, I've I've now cut my input, my my cost to source inventory and sell on Amazon in half and ship it into Amazon in half. It was a huge, huge wake up call. It's like, okay, how else, how can we do more of this, right? Um, so go ahead. And so sometime around two years ago, Gabe called me on the phone like he does often, you know, with really great questions. Figure out how do we do more? How can we provide more value to Amazon sellers? And you guys haven't heard a lot from us over the last two years, 
because we've been in the trenches. We've been in the trenches working on something that we're going to show you today. Um, and he asked a simple question. What's the one tool that every OA seller needs that they don't already have? And he had met some, some software developers that, you know, he thought maybe there's something here. Maybe we can do something. My initial response was no, like, I don't, I, there's nothing. I, I don't know if, if there's anything out there that hasn't already been developed and something, you know, and systematized with software in terms of an online arbitrage business owner's business model. And in fact, funny story, the software developer actually fired us. Like I, I came back with these objections and he came back, he was like, yeah, you know what? I'm out. Like, you don't see the value in this. You know, I'm just, I'm just not going to do it. And I was like, Oh, you know, so Gabe called me like, you see what you did? Did you see what you did, man? You know, in a, in a nice, you know, fatherly way, you know, like, shoot. All right, let's, uh, let's rethink this. And so one day, uh, you Taylor, you can jump to the next slide. One day I was looking through our system and you guys got to understand too. One of the reasons that I did not transition to OA sooner was this problem right here. I knew it was going to be messy. I didn't know exactly how to organize it yet. And we spent the next two years with OA developing what we thought was the best system we could with spreadsheets. And that's what you're looking at here. You're looking at an order sheet and, and, and obviously a tons of leads that we're, we're bringing in from OA Cheddar, compiling that in and, and copying stuff over to a buy list and taking that stuff from the buy list and placing those orders and then inputting all of the different order details inside of an order sheet and then reconciling the receiving of those orders color coding stuff so we don't lose track of what's going on you're dealing with mm. you know uh canceled or orders you're dealing with stuff that's you know that the supplier shipped you said it was you know usps says it was delivered but you never received it you're dealing with things that you have to return back to the supplier and so you know on and on it goes this spreadsheet you know when you're talking about a seven figure business and i think everybody here not everybody maybe but a lot of us here want to build seven figure you know, stores, right, to be able to achieve our goals, our, our profit goals and stuff. And it's the result of that is you're talking tens of thousands of lines of order data that you somehow have to keep track of. Um, and it's not easy. And so that's the big problem that that I saw. And I thought, well, wait a second, I think there might be a solution here, right? Maybe, maybe someone's already created this. So I actually set out and went out into the marketplace and started go doing some Google research. And I'm like, where is an order process, an ordering system, a streamlined software system for ordering as an, um, as an Amazon seller, whether that's for retail arbitrage or online arbitrage or whatever. And I didn't find anything. What I did find was a couple of spreadsheets, but I'll tell you all the picture that came in my head was this is lipstick on a pig. It's still a spreadsheet. It's still crap, right? It's still going to cost me the same, the same trouble. Uh, there's probably a better way. And so I started, I opened up a Google doc and Taylor, you can jump to the next slide. And we started drafting out, the three of us started drafting out what would the ideal software be to manage an online arbitrage ordering system and all the lead data that online, online arbitrage sellers are dealing with. What if we could take all of our leads, all of the data from tactical arbitrage, from a variety of sellers, from our own lead gen, dump it into one system, have it all organized into one platform, be able to sort that data by a variety of different ways, which we're gonna show you here in a little bit, be able to push that into a buy list. Again, literally just taking the process, the Google Sheet process that we had already developed and, 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 and integrate it into a software, push that through a buy cost calculator. You guys saw an image of that on, a previous, on the previous slide. That was a stroke of genius. I don't even know how it happened. I just one day came up with them like, there's a way to calculate this and make it easy and be able to input less information and not have to use a calculator to calculate the cost on four different items within the same order and then figure out how the sales tax and the discounts affect those orders and so on, right? It was, it was, it was, <laughs> so, you know, what if that, with that buy list, you place those orders, you push that into a calculator that already has all the information there. You just have to input a couple of details that runs through an ordering system where you can reconcile all the stuff that never gets delivered to you, the returns, the replacements, you can reckon, you can check in all of the inventory, but you know, is 95% of what you order with OA. It, it, it comes in the way you expected it. It goes into the ASIN that you expected it to go on, but not always. And when, and when those occasions come up, when it doesn't always happen perfectly, what kind of system could we develop that would actually streamline and make that process easier? And instead of being having to manually, this is something we did, not everybody does this, but we, we did this. And I think a lot, a lot of sellers do, you know, then you're checking products in and then you're manually entering them into inventory lab one little thing at a time, setting your SKU, setting your source and, and you know all this type of stuff and then next, right? And then you do the next one. But what if I could check in all that inventory in, in, in inside of the order system and then just export that and dump it into inventory lab and, and off we go and start, you know, start packing boxes, right? And so that is what we've developed here. 
And that's what Taylor's going to show you in a little bit. Clearly, you guys, the, the obvious winner was Cheddarsoft, right? The old way Google Sheets, the new way Cheddarsoft. And what we have found is not only is our accuracy, our accuracy improved, the level of effort that we have to put into ordering online arbitrage inventory has been reduced. The amount of time has significantly been cut again, just like when I made the transition from retail arbitrage to OA, right? And it was literally able to cut all of the input, the costs were cut, the, the amount of time that went into it were cut in half. We, we estimate that we've actually cut again what it took, takes to do online arbitrage down by about 40%. So it's almost been cut in half again. And what used to take five, four to five hours to source inventory and, and put it into a spreadsheet. And, and, the, and this is just on the sourcing side. I'm not even getting into the shipping side. What used to take four to five hours to order inventory every day is now costing us about two and a half hours a day because we have a streamlined system. We don't have to copy and paste anymore. We're just running through a process that's intelligent, right? And does a lot of the heavy lifting for us. Um, and then obviously our profits improve. Why? Well, when you're caught, when you're, the amount of time that you're putting into to executing and, and creating the same result goes down, your profits go up, right? And your time is freed up, right? And, and not to mention just using smart data and running through the out of stock report on Amazon or on Seller Central and running through the software and searching ASINs and finding all of the times that we've delivered a lead from a variety of different sources and checking those sources and reordering that inventory. We're finding replenishables like we never used to because honestly, spreadsheets are just one of those things where you're not going to spend a lot of time there. That's why a lot of people don't do replens in our opinion, because it's on a big hairy spreadsheet or hundreds of different spreadsheets and they don't want to do all that work, right? In fact, by the way, guys, we actually have our replen team, right? We just gave our replen team inside of our, our lead list business. As you guys know, we have top shelf leads. We have replenishable leads. I just asked them the other day, how much do you think that, the, that using the smart data has helped you find replens? And they said 80 to 90% easier than it used to be, right? That's, that's huge, right? So now if you could do that, if you could hire your own virtual assistants, what does that look like? How much more replenishable inventory do you have inside of data that you've already paid for, that you've already collected using your own strategies that you're not leveraging because you don't have an easy, quick way to, to do so. So this is, uh, this is, I think the last slide I have for you guys is what, it, before I pass it off to Gabe, what is your time worth, okay? In my business, based on what I'm seeing and what it costs to, to, to build a seven, to sell a seven figures, and we did 1.7, million last year. Okay. We'll probably do more like 1.2. We're putting a lot of effort into the software this year. Uh, we, and we have been, but we're going to, we're kind of dialing it down a little bit, but we did 1.7 last year. I feel like I'm pretty confident that based on the input that I see in our own business, a husband and wife team or a two person team, two brothers, brother, sister, two best friends, whatever could source and sell a million dollars a year with a full-time 40 hours per week job. Okay. And let's assume that that million dollars per year generates about a 15% profit margin. And that's conservative, right? We know that we have people in our, in our community like Leah and, and, and others that are doing 20 plus percent profit margin, right? Maybe at a smaller scale, but it, it can be done, right? We, we probably do about a 15% profit margin. And then if you add back in the sales tax and you add back in all the cash back and all the rewards that we get, it's, it's well, much closer to probably 20% profit margin. But let's say it is a 15% profit margin generating about 150 grand profit per year. That would come to about $36 per hour. So what if what we're about to show you could save you one hour per day, just one hour per day, conservatively, right? That would be about a, two, a $721 value per month. What would you do with that additional time? Would you dive into private label? Would you dive into wholesale? Would you develop a brand, right? Would you come up, create a service, right? Build software. Um, or would you spend more time with your kids, your grandkids that are only getting older? Would you go on a vacation, right? That's what we're offering you here today, you guys, is more of your time back. And with that, I'll pass it back over to Gabe. <laughs> I can't, I can't believe you guys put this picture in. Uh, <laughs> this was, I just think I like Urkel when I see it. Uh, Grant, thanks, man. Um, you guys can tell we're, uh, we're passionate about why we created this tool as, as for our families and for time. So I appreciate that. I'm curious, quick, quick pulse. How many of you guys, I asked in the chat, how many of you guys manage tons of spreadsheets, um, uh, in your business currently? Um, I saw Andrew said that he does. I'm curious how many of you guys also do that and relate and do, have you built your own, I mean, when I saw Grant's system, he, you know, one thing I admire about Grant and Taylor and how you set up your, your OA business, you're very detailed oriented, Grant. I don't know, you know, it's a gift of yours. You're, you're meticulous. I think there's a lot of entrepreneurs out there that are, are, are not like, I'm not a detail oriented person, you know, so it makes, it makes OA a challenge, but I'm curious 
Okay, so you guys are raising your hands. You, you, you do that. It's a pretty elaborate system. And everybody, I think everybody has different spreadsheets set up, but at the end of the day, you're copy and pasting. So um, with that, guys, uh, how many of you guys are ready to, to see a demo of this tool that we built? Uh, ben says, I do 11 daily. Yeah, when, when Grant broke down, uh, just type a yes in chat if you guys are ready to see a demo, because I'm sure you are. That's why you guys are here. You want to see this tool in action. I think a lot of people have questions, you know, how, how it works, how smart data works. And we're going to share that in just a second here. Uh, Grant, when you broke down last piece, you know, how many spreadsheets, you know, you, you know, we've got 11 top shelf lead lists now that Taylor sources off of, you know, that's, you know, times 52, um, you know, weeks in a year, you guys had all those leads going into your buy sheets, which were updated daily into an order system. And you had to copy and paste and make sure all that stuff syncs together. And it's a small yep. miracle, you know, you got to do some Excel, <laughs> Excel yep. stuff. So. All right, Taylor, well, let's, let's, let's click on. Uh, first, we're gonna share what Cheddarsoft is. I'll make this real short and simple. Taylor's gonna do a quick demo. We basically, rather than slice up the pie, uh, this, this awesome tool we built, we just put it all in one awesome package that you guys get. Uh, Taylor's gonna walk through this, how you can upload leads is the first feature. Smart data, you can organize and sort and search your leads, which is probably just these two pieces alone. As I'm gonna say where 90% of sellers coming in find the most value. Um, and you can, Taylor's going to show you some really nifty ways you can sort and sift and shave time off your sourcing without having to copy and paste stuff. Then you can add your leads to a buy list. So that's all built right in. You can click a button. It adds right to a buy list. Uh, Grant's fancy buy cost calculator. This is a, arguably probably the sexiest new feature that we've built. Our whole system's amazing, but this thing's going to save, uh, for those of you guys that, you know, have team that... <laughs> buy things and you're, you're trying to figure out how to track stuff, you're going to love this. Our order system, which is the bread and butter of the tool. And again, Taylor is going to go through this and then how you can uh, easily create shipping batches and export to inventory lab. So we built this thing to work seamlessly to export. And, uh, you know, the goal was to have a complete system from lead all the way to inventory lab. There's, there's no reason to duplicate what most, most sellers are using in the industry as for inventory management. Um, and then, um, you know, we're really early in, in this offer. So we package all this up. It's 49 bucks a month. We want to make it irresistible for you. So for the, you guys just to try it out, we give you a free 30 day trial at software.ohshutter.com. So if you've already heard enough, and you're like, Hey, I'll just jump in the trial, figure out this thing works, go ahead and go there and sign up. Um, and without further ado, I'll click it over to Taylor to do a quick live demo. And if you guys don't know Taylor Dunn, he runs operations for OH Header Lead List, also operations uh, for the software, which is a whole new team that we've been building. And he's in the leads on the and full time on the buying side um, for your OA business as well. So you're <laughs> you're on the front row with all this stuff. You get a really unique um, a unique position in the industry, Taylor. So, anyways, man, we're super grateful uh, to have you walk us through this, man. I'll let you uh, do the demo. Thank you. Yes, like uh, <clears throat> Gabe and Grant said, uh, the big thing that we're saving here is time. So I just want to pop over here to our sales page. Uh, again, software.ohheader.com. So if you guys head over, you see a page like this, you're in the right spot. Scroll through, learn some more. There's some great video testimonials from some of our users. Uh, so I'm just going to kind of hop right in to the system and kind of just do a brief overview of everything that there is. So here I am inside of my login, it's gonna log in. Um, my account's gonna look a little bit different than you guys, than yours. Uh, that's just because this is an admin account, so you can ignore these numbers here. Uh, yours is gonna look something similar like this. Um, so first things first, just like where everyone starts, uh, you're gonna to wanna to be able to upload your lead list, whether it's from, o, you know, OA Cheddar subscribers don't have to worry about that because they are already going to be uh, active uh, inside the system. But if you're getting your lead list from a different source um, or from TA, you're gonna have a list that looks something similar to this. So I'm just gonna go ahead and download this version and upload it into Cheddarsoft real quick. I'm gonna come over here to my list. I'm gonna create my list. I'm gonna call this my personal finds. Oops. Create my list. Once my list is created, all I got to do is just click on the list and hit add items. And then I just drag my download over and upload it just like this. From here, one of the biggest things we want to tackle right off the bat is the ease of uploading data. We know that a lot of you guys are going to have differently formatted sheets than what 
the template is uh, required. So we have this data mapping tool. It just essentially you're just lining up the columns to the, the proper place. So uh, that's what I'm doing right here is I'm just coming through here and saying, you know, what columns represent my 90 day average or what column represents my category. So once you cool. do that and you get into a good habit of it, this part of the process goes by pretty darn quickly. Uh, I'm looking for my selling price, low FBA, promo. So this would be the most uh, user needed part of the system. Um, I know I have, we have users who have VAs who are trained now to come in and take all their lead data for them and map it out. Once I map it out, I can get a preview of everything. I can see how many items I'm uploading. If there were any errors, I can make that fix right here. I don't have to go back to my spreadsheet and make that fix. Once I'm done, I hit upload, get the green light telling me I'm good to go. My leads are now in my smart data account. So then if I come over here to smart data, here's where the tool gets really fun. So in smart data, all your lead data lives. So right now I'm looking at 11,000 plus leads. That is just in the last 90 days. So we have, I think we have about 90,000 leads in our system currently. This makes it really easy when it comes to uh, just putting all your lead data in and sourcing it. Uh, we have all these different filter options in here. So right now I'm actually filtering out all of the OH header leads and just showing the leads that I just uploaded. So you can see that as soon as you upload them, they become available, ready to go. And they all have the same format. Inside of smart data is where you can really hone in your skills and really narrow down on certain leads. Uh, for example, if I wanna come in here and just search a supplier, say I wanna see my Ulta leads and I'm looking at all my Ulta leads in the last 90 days from just my user uploaded leads. You can see here that it pulls up the, all the Ulta leads very quickly, very, uh, very fast, and I can quickly you know, source through this source. Likewise, I can use this search tool to look up keywords. So if I wanted to find all my Nike products, if I want to just go in and, and buy a bunch of shoes, I type in Nike and you can see here, all the leads have the word Nike in it. That search bar also will search your supplier name, category, um, different ASINs, things like that. So if I want to target a category like toys and games, this is great for Christmas time. I can come in, type toys, and you will see that the leads that it pulls up all how are in the toys and games category. If there's toys in the title, it might also pull that as well. Um, but again, just narrowing down my search results very quickly so I can pinpoint certain leads. This comes in real handy when you are, uh, say there's a sale going on at a certain supplier, you want to source that supplier or um, say it's on specific items like I, uh, like mascara. Say Ulta is having a 20% off all their mascaras. I would type in mascara into my search bar and then I would come over here and I would sort by supplier and I would put the order from Z to A, find Ulta in my suppliers. And now I've narrowed all my lead data down to just mascaras from certain suppliers. I find Ulta and then there's all my leads specifically for that sale. Uh, so you guys can see how quickly this can make sourcing for OA just so much faster and so much easier because you're actually going to be targeting your old lead data uh, depending how, on how you want to search it. Um, for me personally, when I start out my days, one of the first things I love doing is taking all my lead data and making sure it's in the system. Um, and granted, I'm OA Cheddar, so all my leads are from OA Cheddar lead list, but you upload all your lead data and you come in here, set your date range to today, organize it by supplier, and then you can even come down here and you could filter out certain options. So say I wanted to look at everything with at least a 30% ROI. I wanna make sure that I'm at least making a $4 net profit. I don't care about what I sell it for, but maybe I want my maximum uh, sales rank average to be 100,000. So I'm narrowing down our, our search parameters to filter out all the leads that I just know from the get-go I'm not gonna to wanna to source or at least show me all the leads that I wanna source first. And you can see here that I've narrowed down my results to 36 results, and they all are going to follow within my filters that I have set up. So in our own OA business, we've been targeting our leads differently. We're, we're searching for the best fresh stuff only. So normally I'll come in here and, and start with a low uh, sales rank of say like 50,000 or lower, go through my results, then I'll search from 50,000 to 60,000 until I find, and just kind of repeat that process until I, I spend my budget. When I find a product that I like, all I have to do is come over here, click add to buy list, set my number of units that I want to purchase. I can leave any notes and set my list price and then skew up and, and I can even change the details on the lead. Uh, this comes in handy if I'm looking at old leads. 
and there's a new promo and I want to, to you know, uh, to let my buyer know, hey, here's your new promo code. I can come in here, enter in my new promo code, add the item to my buy list, and then keep on sourcing. So if you are the business you know, owner and you're the one who goes to your leads and makes the buying decisions, you can do this, add leads to a buy list, then have your VA or your employee go in and start making purchases. Uh, from here also in smart data, you do have the ability to download the data, which comes in handy if you are, um, say there's a certain supplier that has a great sale going on, or you want to have tactical arbitrage go through and look through your old lead data and see what is available to purchase. You can narrow down your search terms, download that, for, that data, put it into tactical arbitrage and start running reverse searches or product searches and, and start pulling out results that way. I know that's how a lot of our users with, who are uh, fluent with TA have been uh, doing it and they've been seeing some great results. So coming from smart data, if I wanna come over here to my buy list, I just click my buy list up here in the top and you can see right here what my buy list looks like. I have a list of items in here. Uh, they're all kind of scattered around right now so I can search for a specific source. I can also sort it by a supplier if I want to go from A to Z. And that way I have uh, an act or a list of items and I can see here's all the items I'm buying from Barnes and Noble today. So I know, hey, I might need to break this up into two orders or just one big massive order. Um, from here, when your employee is going through and making purchases, if they find an item that they like or they, they make a purchase, they just select those items. They can come up to the, uh, the select bar and hit create new order. Once they select create new order, it's gonna take them to our buy cost calculator. And like Gabe was saying, and Grant was saying, this is a stroke of genius. Uh, it is a huge time saver and the numbers are, are accurate. This is great if you, again, you're having a VA going through and making your purchases and you wanna make sure your, your numbers are accurate. You don't have to rely on their own math skills. They're just using the tool and all they have to do is just double check the order totals, make sure that the numbers match up. From here, you would enter in, and I'm just gonna be throwing some stuff in here. You're just gonna be, you know, you would, you would put in your order number. So that way you have that order confirmation number. You have the number of units that you're purchasing and what the items are. They're automatically going to be filled in with the price from the lead, so they should be accurate. But of course, if you can, if you need to change it, you can come in here and edit any of this information and change those numbers, just like so. Likewise, if uh, you have any type of discounts, so if this is a pre-tax discount or a post-tax discount, so something like reward gift cards or anything like that, you can enter that in. Uh, from here, the big thing that this is helpful for is things like tax. So all I have to do is once I place my order is come over here, enter in my tax. So we'll just keep it simple. We'll call it $20.77. You'll see here that it tells you your tax rate is 10%. Say I paid another $5 for shipping on this. And what you're gonna be looking for over here is that calculated buy cost. And those numbers change as I change, You know, if I pay $10 in shipping, it's taking that $10 and it's breaking it up amongst the rest of the items. So that way you have a true and accurate number for what your buy cost is. Once I've done that, I come through here, I would change my status to ordered. I would make sure I put in what credit card uh, that I used, my cash back source. You can record all that information right from here. And once you're done, you can hit apply and go to order. Once you apply and go to order, you will take you to this page right here. This is where your order lives and all the details with it. So your order number, your price breakdown, what, how you, uh, you paid, all of the, uh, the, when it was created, when it was last updated, and then you'll see your items down below and in your items, you'll have your buy costs. Um, before I dive any further into that, let me just also come up here to orders. And in orders is where all your order uh, data will live. So you can see this is Grant and I's uh, own account that we run our Amazon business off of. So you can see here, we have about 3,100 orders that have been recorded uh, since we started, we switched over uh, earlier this last year. Um, and from here, you can, you know, isolate and search an order number. You can search by, uh, by different statuses for your order. So my favorite is going to be the reconcile status. This is where when we have refunds, replacements, there's something going on with the order that needs my touch or Grant's touch, Charles uh, just goes ahead and changes the status to reconcile. We can then come and see, hey, there's 30 orders that we need to go in and touch on for the month of, of February. Um, this comes in handy, guys, because when we were doing our spreadsheet system, we were using color-coded systems. 
we had to keep on track and remind ourselves, hey, we need to go back and see how many orders we have to reconcile. And frankly, I'll tell you, we got busy with stuff and we would get months and months that I was going back and having to try to find, I was chasing down $100 orders because they got lost in delivery because I wasn't keeping up with my reconciling because I, I didn't have it front, uh, front end awareness of what I needed to get done. Um, so as I'm coming through here, you can just, you can just see, you know, you can get an overview of okay, how many orders do I have closed that have been sent to FBA? You know, how many are partially received right now? And we're waiting for the second half of that shipment to, to arrive. You know, how many are, have been ordered, but yet they haven't arrived to us. So this is where all your orders lived. So you can easily go in, search, open up the orders and, and get that information. Uh, you also have the ability to download your order information as well. If you ever wanted to extract that from the system and, and put it into a spreadsheet as a backup or whatever you'd like. Um, so let's come back over here to orders. In my order, when we go to ship out our products, when Charles actually receives the products to our warehouse, first thing he'll do is he'll, he'll come over here to shipping and he'll open up a shipping batch and you can see that he's already working one right now. And in that shipping batch, let me just open that up. In that shipping batch, you will see all the items that you have attached to that shipping batch for the day. And so normally in the beginning of the day, he just creates one and then he goes back over to orders and he starts receiving. When he starts to receive the orders, he'll come to here, he'll search the order number, he'll pull up this page right here, he'll find the item that he's looking for that he wants to receive, and he will create an event. When he creates an event, there's four different options. Uh, normally shipped to FBA is the, is the one that he's using most of the time. And from here, you just enter in the number of units that you're purchasing. If uh, you, know, you have a quality, contract, uh, sorry, quality control check here, so you can make sure that your shipper's checking all the important details to make sure it is a match. Things like expiration date, replacing the ASIN, all the information that you need here to record an accurate receiving event, and also all the information that Inventory Lab is going to want to create a shipping batch, you enter in right here. Once you're done, you would just hit create shipping event. And you can see here that in my event log, it shows me that this item, this ASIN, was shipped out on this date, and this is the number of units that I shipped out. Uh, from here, uh, I'm good. I can just start working on my next item. And so really with orders, this is the whole point of it is it's a detailed record that you can look into an order and you can see all the history with it. When did I, uh, you know, when did this item arrive to my warehouse? When did I send it off for a refund? You know, if I do send something off for a refund, I, I have the ability to add the tracking number right to that item. So now I can see here's how many units I sent out. Here's what my expected refund was supposed to be. Here's the tracking number because I had to send it back to the supplier before they can uh, refund it to me. And I will tell you from, from a reconciling point of view, that is usually the, the main thing that you have to do is you have to show the supplier that, hey, I did in fact send it back to you. So instead of having to scramble through your emails and try to figure out where that tracking number lives or through multiple spreadsheets and try to find that tracking number, it just lives right here in one easy to use page. We also have order notes. Um, on all different parts of this. So whether it is um, on the refund, you can leave a note for the, that specific refund, or if you wanna add a note for the entire order, this just really helps with communication between your, your team members. So that way anybody can hop into an order and see the, the story of what's going on with those items. Uh, from here again, we have our shipping batches. When I have a shipping batch that's ready to go, when, I, when Charles ends his day, he'll come to his shipping batch, he'll view it, and he'll export. When he exports that, that will kick that off a CS or CSV file that is formatted specifically for Inventory Lab. And in Inventory Lab, he just goes to create a new batch. He'll include a buy list CSV, and then he will then find that item. I'm not going to pull it up, but he will then find that file, upload it, and then that will start the batch in Inventory Lab. If everything checks out, well, which it normally does. All he have to do is push to the next step of the system, print out his labels, his cost, his, his, his supplier, uh, his expiration dates, all that information that you would enter into an inventory lab batch has been done when he received the product in Cheddarsoft. All we're doing is taking that data, giving it to inventory lab, printing off the labels, and then finishing up with the shipping process. So like Grant said, this has cut down our time even more. When it comes to our buy list and, and our normal sourcing, I'm able to use smart data, 
sift out all the fluff that I that I'm not interested in and only hone in on those certain you know low sales ranks or high profit items that I'm I'm uh, wanting. Add them to a buy list. Charles will normally come in, go into my buy list, and start make, placing orders while I'm finishing up the sourcing. From there, he he fills out the order details using the buy cost calculator, which just makes the math easy. It's it makes the entering in the information easy. Really, the only thing that you're entering in is just some basic um, some basic information about the order, like what credit card did you use, what cashback did you use, and what was your your order ID. And then other than entering in your sales tax, that's all you really have to do. Everything is, is, since everything is built underneath the same roof, it knows what the title, what the ASIN is, because that's coming from the lead. It knows, you know, um, you know how, much, how much did I pay? What's my order total? Because it's coming from the buy cost to the orders. So what we've seen here is just a really efficient system. And like Grant said, we used to have four main spreadsheets. And in those spreadsheets, there's multiple tabs for different scenarios and different things that were going on. It was a mess. This system has improved our systems greatly and freed our, us up to be able to explore new things like wholesale or building software and other, and other things like that. So um, yeah, if you have anybody has any questions or anything, be happy to answer them. But that is the Cheddarsoft system. Well, hang out, hang out here for a second, Taylor. This is that's a terrible video image. Um, Thanks for, dude, that's like a, a super thorough um, kind of overview of the whole system. So a lot of you guys coming here are, are, you know, a lot of people are attracted just to using smart data to store leads. So there's kind of, I think that's the biggest question. You know, there's several questions in chat. If you guys have some, we're going to do Q&A at the end, but feel free to go ahead and put them in chat. Um, I know you covered this, Taylor. Did you show uh, exporting the shipping batches to Inventory Lab? I think you said that through your whole process. Yeah, so I can come in here to... Um to inventory lab and I've already downloaded my file. So if I select file, I just need to go and find this. So from here, I'll come down here. Uh, my favorite part of owning a Mac is trying to figure out this file folder. Um, once I identify my file, got a good amount of them in here. You should not do what I do and you should delete your files after you're finished using them. Let me just pull that up and then it should be 25. Okay. So uh, there's my shipping batch for today. I would then process that buy list. Everything is formatted up. So, uh, so you don't have to worry about remapping this. You can see that everything is lined up uh, inside of inventory lab because we designed that export to be hundred percent compatible with this. So all I gotta do is upload my file, hit next. It will then work through that list. Inventory lab will then build that batch based off of the information I'm giving it. Uh, this is a quite a, a larger batch, so it might take a little while. Then I can see here, it looks like Charles actually already uploaded this batch and is working on it. So you can see that all these items are already in my inventory. So normally, uh, Inventory Lab will, will let you know, hey, this one's already in your inventory. Are we replenishing this, or do we need to create a brand new SKU? So normally, when he uploads, he might have like four or five of these that he goes through. Um, and then from there, once he does uh, load everything up, the next step would just be Amazon validation. Since the Amazon validation, he then goes to the section where he will start printing off his labels and getting his shipment prepared. So it's an, all it is just exporting from shipping batch, copying into inventory lab, uploading that file. There's your shipping batch for the day, push it over. So you're not re-entering the same information in inventory lab, like you know your supplier and your cost and your expiration date. It's all you're, you're receiving everything in Cheddarsoft. You're then just taking the data from Cheddarsoft and using it in Inventory Lab for easy shipping. So, so yes, short answer. We, we, we built this. We know most of you guys use Inventory Lab for your primary uh, inventory management tools. We built this to be a nice little bolt-on tool to, uh, to manage your leads and have a lead management system in addition to your inventory management system and, and talk together. So uh, it does a lot. I think the most valuable feature for most new sellers. If you are an OA Cheddar subscriber, as Taylor mentioned, all your lists live here. So a couple other places I want to point you to, Taylor, if you don't mind. Mm -hmm. So we showed you smart data. Taylor, over there on the left-hand side, you've, you showed you the upload feature to upload your own custom list if you're getting lead lists from other places. And then one below that is your Cheddar list. So if you are a Cheddar subscriber currently, and I was just chatting with 
um, a Shutter subscriber earlier today. He's on eight different lists, plus a couple other people in the industry. So all of those leads are already populated here. And for those of you guys that saw the interview with Leah, I think one of the, the most viable features for most sellers is to be able to use all of your data. So Cheddar leads and any other lists, any personal finds that your VAs put everything in one database, one place. And then Taylor, you, you breezed through this, but you showed a couple really creative ways to sort through leads to find data. And this is why, why is this important for you as a seller? Um, and we didn't put this in any fancy slides, but the reality is, and we get to see some interesting stats as a list owner, most sellers, this is the reality across the industry, most OA sellers are only buying leads off a fresh daily lead list. So that you get the email from a provider, you make the purchases, and that's why people compete and then the race at the bottom exists because people are buying the same products. What Shuttersoft allows you to do, this was the main, the first feature, it does a lot of really powerful things that Taylor showed you in the back end, but right up front, is it allows you to sort and sift through not just your fresh leads that you're paying for, but your entire lead database. And I want you guys to get how powerful this is in sourcing unique products that A, fit your business model, um, and B, that you're finding that other OA sellers aren't competing with. Okay, so we can't promise that this is going to solve <laughs> the biggest problem in our industry, which is the race to the bottom. But this is going to help you find unique product opportunities. And, and Leah, the, Leah uh, I got to give credit to, to Leah in the interview that we did. She, um, she's been using this in a really creative way. If you guys haven't seen that, um, that's up on YouTube as a side note. Those videos are published for those of you guys that got the emails. Uh, but Taylor, I just wanted to draw into that um, because that's really, you know, if you can learn to get creative with your searches, and that's the first feature that we wanted to build for you guys so that you could, A, capitalize on all of your all of your lead data, right? Not just the fresh stuff. That's only like, you know, the tip, tip of the iceberg. So I see a lot of great questions in chat. Well, we're going to stick around and answer them. So I know we, I know we just opened a can of worms, Taylor and Grant with this. Some people are like watching this. Uh, I am curious. Let me check in. I'm curious. Um, how many of you guys have like an OA system that you follow? So I'll say post a one in chat. If you have a system, post a two in chat, if you don't currently have a system and be honest, this is just, and maybe it's just you and you sign up and you just kind of go on rabbit trails randomly. I'm just curious how many of you guys already have a built-in system. So it looks like we're talking to a lot of smart entrepreneurs, guys. I see all, basically all ones. So it looks like most folks have a process and a system that they use. And the cool thing about how we built Shuttersoft, we built it so that you can improve the front end of your sourcing. If you guys want to use our buy list, our orders feature, our shipping feature, awesome. We have a lot of users, Grant Taylor, that, that just, you know, they just want to source better. They want to source differently and they want to save time sourcing. And, um, you know, Taylor, you guys have quantified your sourcing time has been cut down by roughly 40% is, is what we've kind of estimated. You guys have your own process. I think other, other entrepreneurs have their own process. Um, anyways, um, and one last thing, Taylor, while we're doing the demo, if you would click on the logo, that, the Cheddarsoft logo, so we had a couple of people email us. And again, this is the admin screen. So you guys will look a little different. Um, for those of you guys that are super detail oriented and we're, we're not, we don't have time to go through, you know, thank you, Taylor, for doing the demo. Taylor put together some really condensed demo videos for each piece of the tool. So this is, it's all inside here. If you're using this tool or if you have, you know, uh, VAs or team members, like the Dassies and like, you know, Grant Taylor, you guys have a couple of different members of your team, you know, they're doing different things. You guys can use this as a resource, but we wanted to make it um, as simple as we can. And we understand that starting anything new, you know, there's a little bit of a time commitment up front. The feedback that we're getting though, and this is uh, Taylor, the last thing we can do, and then we can kind of move over to Q and A and answer some of these specific questions. The feedback we've been getting from several of our, our, our early, early adopter and early users is that, it, you know, there was a little transition to get started, but once you start using smart data and Cheddarsoft, you can't imagine going back to Google Sheets. Yep. And that, that makes us happy to hear that because that's, that's why we built this thing. Um, and I know it looks like a lot. And that's because this whole thing, it does a lot. Um, but uh, you don't have to use the whole thing. So let's answer a couple of questions, Taylor. And if you want to go through, uh, I guess if you want to click through, we've, we've got... Um, this is the official demo side. And again, we didn't, we can't possibly do the, the full thing. We wanted to show you guys kind of a little teaser preview here. I see some good questions. I have to, I can't, <laughs> is that the next slide? <laughs> yeah, next slide. Wait a second, wait a second. Warning, 
warning, <laughs> cover the eyes. There's a couple of slides that snuck into this deck uh, at the last minute that were kind of funny. Let's let's hear Taylor from these. Okay, <laughs> this is a testimonial slide. Go ahead and flip over. This is real testimonials. I just I'm laughing because we didn't have a picture <laughs> for the third testimonial. So this so the third test obviously I know what you're looking at is the baby. I know you're looking at the. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> no, I'm you didn't. <laughs> oh, I, that's like click. I told Grant when I saw this slide the first time, like I can't even, I can't see the other pictures. I don't. Okay, so these are real <laughs> testimonials. Uh, James does not look like that, but these are true testimonials. Uh, you guys saw the interviews from Ed and Carla Dassey. Um, Ed used the word he thinks it's like the inventory lab of lead list, which is, I think, kind of sums up what we're after to accomplish is inventory management. Uh, Leah uses, literally uses Shutterstock as a tool for everything. And <laughs> James, not really James, um, he's estimating it's Shutterstock is saving him 10 to 15 hours a week. And uh, this is a testimonial we got from James via email. We don't, we don't have a, an accurate picture, um, but he is a real Shutterstock user. And um, he is, um, yeah, he, he, he does well sourcing. So anyways, these are, these are early users. Uh, we're making an offer for you guys to join. We want to make this easy. Taylor, go ahead and click through. Um, we want you just to try it. That's our that's our pitch. <laughs> we want you to, to we, we're going to give you a free 30 day trial. Jump on, use the platform, upload your leads, go play with it yourself is the best way uh, to source differently. And that's that's kind of what inspired this whole thing. How can we help people source differently? And maybe there's a better way to do things so that you don't have to spend as much time in the weeds. And that's what we built Cheddarsoft for. We, uh, you know, we, we know we have entrepreneurs in our community and maybe you're there, maybe you're not, but you're an entrepreneur and you have to, you're wearing a lot of different hats in your business. Um, our, our call to action is if you are doing any kind of data, if you own a business and you are doing any kind of data management, if you're copying and pasting leads anywhere in your process, we offer that there may be a better way to do your process. And that's why we built Cheddarsoft. We, if you're, that's just a, that's just like a red flag. If you're doing you know, work that could be easily outsourced for five bucks an hour. It's like, what's your time worth? You know, you should be doing $50 an hour tasks, $100 an hour tasks, $1,000 an hour tasks as a business owner. So that's why we built Cheddarsoft. Uh, we wanted to make it uh, super affordable. So try it for 30 days for free. If you like it, it's 49 bucks a month for everything. And you get locked in at that. Uh, you can ask some of our early users. We've raised the price um, already as we plan to build into this tool and make new cool stuff in the future. Quite frankly, uh, this is a complete system as we've built it. We've got some really cool new features that we're planning on building into this. And so the offer we're making you guys today to be a, is kind of our last call to action for founders members. And founders members, basically you get a say in the future development of what we build. So we built a really cool tool, got some cool stuff coming, um, right in, built into the tool. There's a feedback mechanism. There's a little button on the right-hand side. You guys can give us direct feedback on, on features and, and vote for which ones you want and do some cool stuff. So anyways, you get all this stuff. We wanted to make this, um, you know, if we can save you the question Grant asked earlier, if we can save you 20 hours a month, I'm just being conservative. What's that worth to you? Um, if we can help you find better inventory that you can source at a higher profit that turns faster. Uh, if you could source replens from your favorite sources better, what's that? Well, there's, there's a lot of different ways to use this tool. We make it and we want to get it in your hands to use and have your, your, your team use. So you get everything, you get all these features all packaged up, the uploading feature, the smart data feature, your buy list, the buy cost calculator, orders, the shipping feature, uploading the inventory lab. Um, and we understand it's a new tool. We understand learning new things. So uh, Taylor has graciously offered up. We have a thing called office hours where twice a month you can get on a Zoom directly with us. Um, and we actually have our tech team listening in silent. Oftentimes you're talking directly to us and our tech team at the same time. So you, it's the best way uh, you know, uh, to, to, to learn the tool and also to help us build the new stuff. So anyways, software.ohheader.com is the link. Go there, set up your trial. Um, I will say, if you are already an OH Header subscriber, uh, just use the same email that you get your leads with. And um, if the system does its job, all of your OH Header leads should magically appear in your account. And it's been working really well. We've had, had some stuff early, but uh, we're really, really excited for this tool. 